Hi ho, Keegan the Vlog here. It's time to get this Lambretta project wrapped up, get it back together and back on the road so we can get back to work on the Triumph. Let's get into it. We got this thing back together and we're ready to take it out on a test drive. Uh, so a couple things we've got here. Steve at the shop gave us a nice padded riding jacket here. Um, just a little bit too small for him, fits me like a glove. Safety, 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 safety helmet. And these things come with turn signals. Also we've got a leader shell so uh, you know in case somebody gets out in front of us we're all good to go there. I'm done with wasting time. So done Decided to take a deep Right, so first ride successful. Uh, that door keeps flopping open for one. Take my turn signals off. Uh, thanks again to Steve for this jacket. Extremely generous. This fits perfectly and gets the job done. It's bitchin' looking too, man. Thanks a lot, Steve. All right, let's take a look at this thing and uh, let me show you some of the things we still have to have to deal with on it. Okay, walking up to it first of all, let's look at the paint and, and see how that turned out. Um, the white turned out a little bit better than the red. The red um, has some texture to it still, has that orange peel look to it. Um, we're going to let this cure for a little bit. Uh, this paint just got finished, uh, was just finished up this past weekend. Uh, so we need to let that cure and then we're going we're gonna to try to clean this up a little bit more. Um, it looks okay from a distance, but up close it still looks kind of kind of amateurish, but hey, that's, that's what I am, an amateur. Uh, clearly, I did not get all of these torqued down. This uh, rattles a lot, so clearly it does. Um, we've got some some new uh, 
rubber um, standoffs for this door that should hold this taut so it uh, it doesn't flap around like that and open. Um, let's see what else we've got going on here. Uh, we've got a new fixing kit for the for the horn casting. I've got temporary bolts in here. These these are aren't uh, these these aren't stainless or anything. So we want to replace those as soon as we can. If you saw saw this rattling around, um, there's a, a rubber gasket in here that was completely disintegrated when we took it apart. I've got a whole new um, uh, chrome piece and and lens and all of that coming from Scootopia. So we're going to replace this whole thing. Uh, let's see. We've got new uh, badging coming except for this one. This LI150 here apparently is unobtainium. Uh, so we've got we've got new uh, new badging for this section. Uh, we've got the Lambretta logo for this. We've got this. We also have a new tail light. Now I broke the lens on this. I dropped it on the garage floor. So that's on me. Um, but we've got a new one coming from Scootopia. We've got to register it so we get a license plate to put here. One other thing that we have, uh, we have figured out is, okay, so here's the fuel position uh, switch. So you've got, this is on and this is a reserve, uh, reserve setting. So this actually seems to work fine. Uh, this is the choke. Now, an interesting situation here. Let me make sure we're in neutral. The bike will not idle unless the choke is on. Um, and I'm going to, to, to show you in the shop manual, I'm gonna put up a picture of the, uh, uh, the diagram for the, uh, the carburetor has, uh, has three circuits in it. Um, one of which is an idle circuit. And I believe what is the deal here is that idle circuit jet is, is either just plugged up with gunk or, or there's some, something just generally wrong with that, uh, with that jet. So we're just gonna take the whole carburetor apart. There's a pretty simple machine and, and clean it, clean all the jets. Uh, but it, it idles fine with the choke on because that provides, that provides a circuit for fuel and it runs. So turning the choke off which that should uh, that you should be able to turn the choke off after the after the bike starts, especially actually shouldn't even need it if it's warm. But we can we can use it in that condition. So we we need to fix this now. Some of the other body pieces there is a there is a piece like this that didn't come with the rebuild kit that I bought. Uh, so I, I had to to order that, and that joins these two pieces together on both sides and up here. I am really happy with this thing. It is a blast to ride. I cannot wait to get a, uh, a proper motorcycle endorsement on my driver's license so I can ride this thing. Um, and I mean, so, and, and get Jen riding it. We might actually have to get another one so we can ride together because that would be a whole lot of fun. Um, so we are back to Triumph content coming up the next episode. Actually, there may be one between this and the next TR3 episode. Uh, we've got a couple things going on with the TR3. We're still trying to get the middle back together, um, and we may be employing some help to do that. Uh, but we also have a Cars and Coffee coming up next weekend, and, and there's some pretty cool cars we're going to be taking down to Annapolis. Uh, we're actually going down to uh, City Dock Annapolis again with a uh, uh, 27 Model T and I think... Uh, uh, somewhere around that same vintage, uh, late 20s, early 30s, uh, Chevrolet. So uh, we're going down there with those two cars. The DeLorean will be there too for contrast, I guess. And uh, there's gonna be some other stuff. I think the Fiat 500 might make an appearance this time. Anyway, some, some cool stuff at Cars and Coffee again. Um, anyway, stay tuned and like and subscribe. We'll see you next time on TR3 slash Lambretta slash DeLorean Wrench Time.